A crew member aboard the Disney Fantasy Cruise Liner, which is off Trinidad's north coast with 49 Trinidadians aboard, has posted images on his social media site. Anirud Ayanga, a service excellence trainer aboard the vessel, posted that the Disney Fantasy is currently refueling at an oil rig in Trinidad and Tobago. He said the vessel is on a cruise to repatriate all Caribbean crew members, but Trinidad and Tobago is the only government who has refused to take their citizens. He lamented that they are at the doorstep of their country, but still so far. The Disney Fantasy is being allowed to refuel in TNT waters, but is not being allowed to dock. TNT nationals aboard the ship want to be allowed to return home and subject themselves to quarantine. They have pleaded their case to National Security Minister Stuart Young, but the government has cited its border closure policy. The Disney Fantasy and Royal Caribbean's vision of the seas have been repatriating cruise ship workers living in the Caribbean. The Disney Fantasy last stopped in Grenada after going to St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Dominica. The Royal Caribbean ship is carrying 394 TNT nationals. And the Ministry of National Security says it is making attempts to locate six nationals on one cruise ship said to be nearby to Trinidad and Tobago. The Ministry says this task has been challenging as it does not have individual applications from these six, but rather we have a blanket application for 430. The Ministry of National Security says it is going to permit the entry of nationals on these various cruise ships by establishing a schedule which allows us to manage their return, consistent with resources to protect them and the population. The Minister of National Security, the Minister of Health, Chief Medical Officer and others are discussing how the entry of our nationals on the cruise ships can be scheduled. They are also managing the return of close to 275 students whom the government is working on bringing back to Trinidad and Tobago from Barbados and Jamaica. These nationals are only two categories of persons who have applied for exemption to enter Trinidad and Tobago. There are thousands of applications for exemptions by nationals who are all over the globe. This country, meanwhile, officially has no more COVID-19 patients after the final patient was discharged last evening. The Health Ministry recorded 116 positive cases, the first being recorded on the 12th of March and the last on April 26. There have been eight deaths and 108 patients who fully recovered.